my navel string was buried at East and Newmarket Street, where I was born. Though my antecedents were Buxton, I was born and I grew at East and Newmarket Street. And one day, I'm standing on the road, and I have a love for garbage bins. I'm not a crackhead, but in garbage bins there are many treasures. One day I saw the Butler family emptying a set of trash, papers, could tell they were papers and books of some sort, into a garbage bin. So I was curious because paper and books always got my attention. And I stepped across around the street trench over into the butler yard, waited until they were upstairs and then I opened the garbage bin. I found a little volume called Gems. It was edited by A.J. Seymour. That really motivated me also. Well, like my good friend Russell said, um, I got involved in the poetry, but you have to understand, it's not the only thing I do, or it's not the only thing that I really love. It's part of a whole package. I love to write. That's essential to me, essential to my being, my existence. I love writing. Writing is something fantastic. But I don't believe there should be boundaries. Because I never felt there were any boundaries. I didn't consciously sit down and say, for me, there will be no boundaries. It's just that there were no boundaries. To live as a writer is not easy in no country. But we are necessary. We're a necessity in the society. I'm convinced of that. I never used to make these bold statements, but I make them now because they're being ignored in other ways. We are important in any and every country. Without us, civilization would crumble. Writing has tools, very simple tools that you have to learn. Learn to identify first, or else you won't know to use it. So you have to learn to identify which tools to use and how to use it. And that has come over years of working, painstaking work, and so on. So now that I've grasped these essentials, I'd like to pass it on, but I want to see people publish. I don't want to see people come out of a workshop and there's no product. There must be product. I'm product-oriented. George Foreman say, if you ain't got a product, you ain't got business. You gotta have a product. Literature, the fine arts is business. Every weekend, people come from wherever, and they're flying here, and there's a big party and a big show for them. You know, we got to set our own things up. We have to do it. So I'm hoping pretty I was listening to some oldies, and uh, this guy was singing. What's his name? Uh, Tom. The English guy, Tom. Uh, if I only had time. And I sat down and I started to think about time. And I said to myself, I said to myself, you know, time is really short. And I started to write this. But Is a word. 
What a fight to get in, what a tussle to sit in, to cash in on runnings, lots of wonderful things, secret fights and smiles, plastic in the styles, and the knives in the back from a dread or a duck is a worry, worry, worry over money, 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 time shop. Antique traps now in modern design, old wicked ways in the passion of the Clear politics toasted on wine. Million dollar diamonds from the GT mines is a worry, worry, worry over money, 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 time shop. It's a worry, worry, worry over money, 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 time shop. And criminals now profess in the symposium of men, and the idols and the lila are glorified again. And church and state are in unity of sin. It's a worry, worry, worry.